Hey, Educator Barnes here, and recently I came across an article by an author named Sharonda at Education Post, and she had issued a Say My Name, Spell My Name Correctly challenge. And the reason that this post caught my eye is because of a YouTube video I did more about a few weeks ago about cultural, being culturally responsive start by saying names correctly. Unfortunately, this is an issue that people um, like she and I currently battle because people just won't say our name correctly. There's a second layer to it when you get shut down so much that you just choose not to even correct people's name. And she referenced Chrissy Teigen. That's actually how you say her name. It's not Teigen. When she revealed that people have been mispronouncing her name because she hasn't told people how her name is said correctly. And so the challenge that Sharonda issued was, you know, singing a song about your name to the lyrics of Say My Name by Destiny Child. So if I were going to participate in this challenge with the first verse, I would say, say my name, say my name. If you really respect me, say my name correctly is Shantae. Now she was awesome. She sang some extra stuff. I'm not doing all that. I don't need you to suffer through my singing. But the point is, it is important. If you really want to see someone, if you really want to know them, you should say your name, say their name correctly. So I have three tips for people. And I base these tips on an incident I actually had after doing the video about being culturally responsive. I recently turned 35 and I received a birthday gift um, around the time of my birthday, which was great until the person who didn't know me well said to me, you know, your name is missing an accent. In reference to my name, my name is spelled S-H-A-W-N-T-A. So this person was suggesting that there should be an accent over the second A. Now, there are many people who whose name in, in A, and the A is long, just like my name is. But instead of just simply handing me the birthday gift and saying, happy birthday, Shantae, you had to add, you know, your name is missing something. So as my pastor says in church, come closer. When you are trying to get to know somebody and you don't understand their name, my first tip for you is keep your commentary to yourself. This is not the time to explain how hard their name is, how their name is misspelled, like my social studies teacher said when I was in seventh grade, or to tell them how their name should be spelled or how it's just, oh, it's just such a burden. Your name is just so difficult. I'll, I'll never get it. That's not the time for that. My second tip is that you need to find a way to remember uh, how to say their name and how to spell the name correctly. If that means you write a note to yourself, if that means you write it out a different way um, on your paper to make sure you are saying it right, do that. I am known for, I was in a situation where someone kept saying, Shawanta, Shawanta, is Shawanta here? Now, mind you, I had told this person at least 10 times that my name is Shantae in different situation. And this day I was just like, I'm not saying nothing. So finally someone says, is that person talking about you? And I said very loud and oddly in this room, a lot of people, I'm Shantae. I don't know who uh, this person is calling. And then the person was all like, well, you know, no, I don't know who you're talking about because my name is Shantae. And I've told you several times. So I'm not understanding why we're in this situation where I'm in this room with all these people and you're just mispronouncing my name. It's not like you haven't had several opportunities over a course of a year to learn how to say my name correctly. Um, let's just say after that public incident, that person has not mispronounced my name. And the third tip I have for people is resist the notion to suggest an alternate name for the person. My name is Sean Tay. Do not call me Sean. I do not go by that nickname. I do go by Shakol sometimes because that is my middle name and I like to be called Shakol. But you only call me Shakol unless I give you the permission to call me Shakol. You don't call me anything else unless you have my permission. And then I have three tips for people who are in my situation where your name is mispronounced or misspelled. My first tip is correct people. Do not feel sorry or bad that you have to correct people. That's okay. You should be called what the name that you are given or the name that you have chosen for yourself. You change your name to a unique spelling for a reason. I've run into that before. If that's what you want to be called, then you stand up for yourself. Secondly, stand your ground about your name. Because sometimes people are just like, oh, I just, I just, I just can't get it, you know. No, you're going to get it. I will help you. But if you're going to have a relationship or interact with me, you're going to get it. And then three, only go by a nickname if that's what you really want. I go by Shakol sometimes because that's what I really want. 
But when I'm in the professional setting, I go by Shantae because that's what I want because people who call me Shakol are typically my family members or very close friends. And so I don't shorten my name for people to make it easier because I think that if you took the time and effort, you could say Shantae. So I really appreciate Sharonda um, coming out here and singing um, that song to the tune of uh, Destiny's Child song, Say My Name, and challenging people, other people to do the Say My Name challenge because we should be proud of our unique names. I have a unique name and I love my name. I love my whole name, Shantae Shakol, I love it. And I'm not going to accept that you won't say either one of my names because I've had both of my names mispronounced and misspelled. I'm not going to accept that. Um, what you're going to accept is that you're just going to have a difficult time with me until you get on board and say my name correctly. So that's what I have for you. Until next time.